If you have played Animal Kaiser for a very long time, I can assure you that at least 90% of the fanbase will be aware of the Galactical Invaders, or Galactic Invaders. Honestly, I'm pretty sure both names are correct. I've been calling it the Galactic Invaders for years now, so nah, I don't really know. I think both are just correct. But anyways, I'm very sure that most people will know about them. After all, they're the aliens, the final big bosses uh, crashing from meteors onto Earth, ready to destroy the planet, branding yellow and white stripes, and they're just very strong. Even Brutus and Galleon struggle to beat them, and we all know how strong Brutus and Galleon are. Yeah, that is terrifying. But basically, I'm very sure that everyone, even if you don't really know about the Galactic Invaders, you'll at least know of their boss. Emperor Virtus, or his true form that everyone loves, including myself, Armageddon Virtus. Now, I'm very sure that we are all aware by this point that by the end of the original Animal Kaiser, Celio, Regulus, and basically the entire Animal Kaiser cast actually managed to defeat Armageddon Virtus and brought peace to the planet. But then in Strong Animal Kaiser Maximum, for some reason, Shishiwaka faced off against the Galactical Invaders again. This time, they came with a new boss. The Galactic Invader. G Gala the Galactic Emperor. The End. Now, honestly, this confused me as a kid. I was like, wait a minute. Why do they have a new boss now? I'm pretty sure the old one was dead. Maybe they're both the same being. And then when I grew up, I was like, nah, no way they can be the same being. And then now, what if I told you? that Armageddon Virtus and Galactic Emperor of the End were actually the same being. Let me explain. So, in order to continue into this theory, we need to dive into the Kaiser stories. Now, if you're not aware of what the Kaiser stories are, basically, they are just small little info boxes at the back of your card. They can be from the original all the way to Strong Animal Kaiser. And basically, in every single card, you can find them on the Fighter cards, the Strong cards, the Miracle cards, the Friend cards, the Bigger Mega cards, basically everything except the id card I'm, I'm pretty sure the id cards are the only ones without the animal kaiser story but yeah while i was researching on a joke matchup that is tokisaki kurumi versus general crusher for a death battle joke you, you know me i love death battle i actually stumbled upon the kaiser story which turned out to be very interesting to say the least so let us look into the kaiser story of who is galactical M but go who is Galactic Emperor of the End Part 2? So, this is what it says. When the end last came to Earth, the hero animals fought back against him. Sounds interesting, isn't it? So, when was the last time we knew that the Galactic Invaders came to Earth? The last time was in the original Animal Kaiser. And guess who was your boss at the time? It was Versus, but let's go on. Now he's back with a new form and equipped with gear to take his revenge. You see, revenge, he came before. It's very like, this is already the first clue that he could be Virtus. But what's this about a new form? Well, we gotta go into the part one of this actually, that will, of the Kaiser story basically. So. Let us see. This basically says that the end is a huge space beast that has taken the form of a dragon and simply exists to destroy everything. As we are aware, the Vert Vertus is basically the same. He will not rest until the entire universe is destroyed and same for the end. So similar goals, that is our second clue. But what about this thing that he takes the form of a dragon? Now that you would basically see this, you would go back in the past and now you would think to yourself, wait a minute. Virtus is a whale, the end is a dragon. How could they be the same? Now that's the interesting part. So, we're going to another Kaiser story, which is Who Are the Galactical Invaders, Part 2. And this is what they say. 
The galactical invader animals are creatures from space. They have no set form, but instead take the form of the constellations around them. No set form, this would mean that basically they could shapeshift into a specific creature. Um, basically, they just take the forms of whatever they can find. However, and this was basically the same in the original Animal Kaiser with a little difference. Uh, the Animal Kaisers... Uh, it, I mean, not the Animal... Shit. The Galactic Invaders in the original story basically were the same, except, here's the thing, they actually took the forms of creatures that originated from the planets that they were going to destroy at the current time. So, for example, on Earth, that after all, this is our only example, we've never seen them destroy the other planets before. So on Earth, for example, Lieutenant Blaster took the form of a gorilla, General Crusher took the form of a Holstein cow, and Admiral Eraser took the form of a tiger. And what about Virtus? Well, here's what they say. Virtus was a creature that took the form of the largest being on the planet they were about to invade. On Earth, he is the blue whale. So, don't you think that this thing lines up? Creatures with no set forms. Virtus first came onto the Earth with the galactic invaders to try and destroy it. He gets stopped. They get banished somewhere, I'm pretty sure. And then they want to take revenge. So Virtus changes his form from the blue whale into a dragon. And now he's coming back to Earth. They still have the same goal of destroying the entire universe. They have basically I don't know, but the whole Kaiser story lines up. And this is only involving like four Kaiser stories because these are the only ones I found on Google. And if anyone else has more of these Kaiser stories, please proceed to tell me in the comment section. But hey, right now, this is simply just a theory, a random animal Kaiser theory. But what do you think personally? Please, of course, leave your answers in the comment section below. And do tell me. Do you actually think the Virtus is indeed the end? And of course, if you do have more Kaiser stories, please be sure to update me. Because I'm pretty sure that this could possibly actually confirm this theory. But that's all I really have to say. I'm sorry for dragging this theory out for too long. Uh, yeah, this is basically my last video for a while as I take my final exam. So all the best to everyone and have a good day ahead. I promise to upload more Animal Kaiser content next time. But for now, mm, peace out. Later!